Good morning, YouTube. Mochismo Eugene, another video from Exit Strategy. Welcome. I just realized, well, I didn't realize, but I've noticed videos I do when I'm driving along. I have a terrible suspension in this car or this truck. This thing handles like a cardboard box when you hit potholes, and this city has a ton of them. So, excuse the noise and the excessive background noise from the bumping and the jumping around. But I'm in, um, I'm in, in process of work right now. So, but I want to come on and talk about why must we talk about the narcissist so much? Why do we talk about the narcissist every day, all the time, so much? Now, that's not a question I'm asking myself today, but that's a question that I think we've all, all have asked ourselves at one point or another. Because if we had it our way, let me put seatbelts on, guys. Safety. If we had our way, most would conclude and agree. I don't want to talk about these people every day. I just want to live my life. I just want to go about my business and take care of my business and stay in my lane. I told me to read it. But whether you want to accept this answer or not as to why we must talk about these or why do we talk about narcissists all the time, constantly. It's one that we've all, deep down inside, we've all come to this conclusion, whether we accept it or not. But it's undeniable. The reason why we talk about these people every day, all the time, because they exist every day, all the time, everywhere, all the time. They are constantly a visible force in our world, in our space, in our uh, workplace, in our family. Relationship dynamic. Wow, got three deers standing right here on the parkway. Uh, but anyway, nature always connected to nature, and, and it's crazy. Those deers can get along better than humans. A lot of animals can. I think that's God showing us about nature how we are human and we're supposed to be the most sophisticated creature God ever created, but we're the most complex and difficult. Now back to point, we must continue to press the gas pedal on the subject of narcissists, the existence of narcissists, because they continually exist and they become more and more and more dangerous, more and more uh, vile, more and more destructive, as always probably, but the more awareness that has come to these people it would seem that the more desperate they've become. There are no days off, whether you choose not to speak about them, whether you choose to block them out of your mind, uh, it is a choice. It is a free will given to each and every human being. But mind you me, there is no days off for the narcissist the narcissist will never uh, cease to cause destruction, chaos, and discord. And that is the reason, in a nutshell, simplest as you can put it, you have to continue to be aware of what these people are. I was at the hardware store here just now, and this comes as a result of that. I was casually walked in to get some light bulbs I was changing a fixture on a fan and and I had my helper there standing watching me as I was twisting the uh, light bulbs out and I proceeded to put them on the uh, step ladder a little space you have above the step ladder the bigger point is they watched me almost like a little kid watching uh, an amusement and instead of them reaching <clears throat> to assist me and get the bulbs, they did. And I, I would I wouldn't have thought that they would have asked me either. 
him. So it went either way. I, I just continued to put him on a step ladder. When you're working by yourself all the time, you become so self-sufficient. Even when a person is standing there, uh, you continually do things by yourself. And I pick them sometimes, but that's not in here, nor there. So anyway, <clears throat> I dropped a couple. One uh, exploded and the other one didn't. And these are LED bulbs, I was surprised. So I was in there getting some bulbs and there is an individual who's known, these are indicated narcissists, by the way. Um, and just case in point, she's, uh, she, 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 she's of, she, she likes the same type, the same sex. She's a, she has a girlfriend. And I can remember when I first met her. Now, I'll emphasize this. Take it the way you want it. You will find that narcissists are screwed up to begin with. You get a narcissist, be it a gay man or lesbian woman, in my opinion and from my observation, they're all dangerous. But there is a double doozy because they become fixated on you in a way that they used their sexuality as a defense. Like, why are you staring at me or what's the problem? It is to draw you out for emotion because in essence, I've, I've observed a lot of these individuals and this is case in point. They draw and try to extract unwarranted attention. And so I'll leave that at that. And that's been my experience. I stand on it. So therefore, uh, this is comes off of this top uh, topic here. I went in to get the light bulbs, and I saw this individual nonchalantly standing over near the station and where they work. And I saw another individual come across my path, and, and she smiled, and she's of the same uh, sex uh, preference as this other individual I'm talking about. They both like girls. So I'm gonna show you like birds of a feather flock together. You have narcissists that will flock together, period. So you get a couple gay guys and most often if they are narcissists, they will hang together more so conducive to one another than just say two gay guys that are not narcissists or two lesbians that are not narcissists. They will flock together either way, but if you have them of this pretty much uh, sexual orientation and they are narcissists, they are double as dangerous. So going to point the one individual standing at her station <clears throat> noticed that the other girl crossed my path and smiled at me and I said I said good morning and you know so you just be cordial with these people because she smiled and said good morning staying stoic waiting in the line and she proceeded to go out right way the other individual that was standing at her station. She didn't, wasn't acknowledged at all. So she immediately went out of the, 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 the hardware store. And I anticipated she's following this girl out there to a smoke break. Lo and behold, you're right every time. And it's not just her following her out there because of sexual orientation. That's a part of it. But I think the bigger part for this particular narcissist is that pursue the other individual. And again, they're, the, they're of the same uh, sexual preference. Just to be respectful about it. Because I respect everybody. But I will emphasize this in this case. Because this is case in point. I went outside to get in my car, and lo and behold, I was correct. Standing over there, bucking her eyes a mile a minute, and as I came out, they were way up far over in another sector of in front of the hardware store. And just cheesing and grinning. I never acknowledged them anyway. Either way, I got in my truck, and my truck was facing in that direction, and that's when I actually began to see what 
maximize was right. They never are able to form opinions, thought processes. They're never able to actually exist without one another to any degree like you and I empaths we can wake up every day we can go about our business we can form decisions that don't include going out to try to extract attention and energy from other people to bring significance to our uh, being but we do have an issue that we have to contend with every single day and it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere and the sooner that we realize it this is dicey nice these are the side streets pay attention even though I'm not holding my phone and so the the whole the whole premise of what they they were doing or what the individual that pursued the first individual that went out for a smoke break it is all to continue chaos to continue stirring the pot is the best way to put it these are contentious individuals they only breed chaos they are actually chopping it up setting up in a huddle what is our next what is going to be our next plot? And what, what what she doesn't realize, or she they don't care, but they don't realize as an empath, we see you, fool. <clears throat> we understand what you're doing. It is detestable to have to entertain it, but we do understand what you're doing. And because of that reason that these people are uh, uh, unceasing, relentless, in their pursuit to create chaos and to wreak havoc on unassuming individuals. They're always smearing, they're always diminishing people's character and, and, and self-worth and, and individuality. They're trying to dis dismantle who you are as an individual because they are not an individual. They are a cut and paste of multiple individuals. They don't have a constancy of a personality that's what makes their personality disordered now I hope that part that I emphasize that I emphasize just now really really strikes a chord in your mental because up until this point you probably have thought and asked that question why do I have to think about these people why do I have to talk about these people all the time why do I have to have them on my mind and this is why because of their personality disorder, they will never, ever fit in in society in a way that you and I uh, observe society and we approach society. They can never, ever live in a harmonizing way. That's pretty much the best way to put it. They are the chaos in this world. We are the peacemakers. Even when we get upset, we don't readily seek to bring other people down. We'll actually let a person know based on our sheer just demeanor that, you know, we don't want to be bothered. We won't sit back, sit on the curve in our car in front of a store or establishment and just wait and watch and stalk and observe someone for their demise. This is like a wolf. That's why the Bible says, the wolf's in sheep clothing. It says, the lion comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Please understand, guys, that it's unfortunate that we've been given this scroll of sorts to eat and to carry out in life. It's unfortunate on one hand, but it is a blessing that you and I are aware and awake of this because we are the one, I believe, that God chose 
with our awareness and our awakeness to actually bring a balance back to our world or this society. That's why we're called chosen ones. Not because we choose chose ourselves. This is just what we identify with because of that thing I just said. That being said for us.